additional reporting by Jean Hyde and Matt Durat. One longtime Kremlin watcher says Russian President Vladimir Putin is largely indifferent to punishments imposed on his country's billionaires for the carnage he unleashed in Ukraine. Putin has a friends with benefits relationship with Russia's wealthiest and considers only what they've done for him lately, he says. Another expert is convinced the president might even favor the international sanctions because the oligarchs will be forced to bring their billions home to Russia, increasing Putin's leverage over them. The Russian president, who many believe is the richest person on the planet, doesn't care about money, says another. His only interest is power. In just the last two plus weeks, Russia's oligarchs have seen their fortunes go into a tailspin. Forbes counts nine who've been sanctioned by the E, U, U, S, or U. K since Russia invaded Ukraine, joining another 11 who experienced the clampdown before the unprovoked February 24th attack. They've lost control over their super yachts, mega mansions and championship soccer teams. If sanctions hold, exports from their mines, metal processing plants and oil and gas facilities will slow to a trickle. They may have learned some tricks that will help them shelter a percentage of their assets, but life can't be much fun as an international pariah. If they're expecting sympathy from the man who caused all this upheaval, experts say, they'd do better getting a dog. Putin's a guy who I say has always been playing this friends with benefits game, said David Charles Lingelbach, who spent several years in the 1990s working as president of bank. He has these alliances with people and then he tosses them overboard when they no longer suit him. According to Lingelbach, all of Putin's real billionaire allies Yuri Kovalkyk, Arkady Rottenberg, and Boris Rottenberg, who helped him get his foot on the wealth ladder in the 1990s were sanctioned b. Putin is largely indifferent about the rest of the business elite, even those who claim to be close to the president, Lingelbach said. A public illustration of that dynamic was the February 24th meeting Putin had with a group of the country's business elite. Putin spoke, then got up and left. None of the billionaires were allowed to ask a question or say a word. He's the one who put them in the position of being rich in the first place, said Alexander Vakru, the director of Harvard University's Davis Center for Russian and Eurasian Studies. To Putin, the oligarchs are basically servants who are supposed to keep the economy running. If nations allied with Ukraine are going to cripple the Russian economy, then the servants are mere distractions, Vakru said, 